Recently, I talked about how AI is a brain in the box and that a brain in the box, you could chat with it, you could interact with it, but it really is just limited to its own thinking. It can't really interact with things outside the box. And I mentioned how there are startups, including the one I'm at, where we're building the neurons to interact with the brain in the box. So that way it could communicate and engage with things outside of its own little box shape. Well, that idea is not an original or new concept. In fact, I already see that happening right now with OpenAI in that they are in a beta, I might admit right now, but in a beta, allowing users to add other GPTs, GPTs with tools. And so you have the situation where you could have a primary GPT issuing instructions to other GPTs to perform work with their tools and then reporting those results back to the primary GPT as you talk to it. And that's a slightly different approach than giving it neurons, whereas you're giving it essentially hordes of AIs to be able to perform work. But it lines up very well with the idea that the future of AI isn't just a singular thing like a HAL 9000 that if it ever went rogue and evil, you'd have a problem. Instead, it's as I mentioned earlier, there will be swarms of agents that spin up, do the tasks that they need to do, and then they move on with whatever tasks are next. And that's going to be really important simply due to the fact that it should conceivably speed up the ability for one person to do more with an AI than they otherwise could do if they were just interacting with a GPT. And that's important simply because having the ability to upload something to GPT, tell it, hey, I need this data. This is where you could get it. Can you help me figure out the process by which to do it? Have it think step by step through the process right in front of your eyes so you could correct it you know, before it gives you an answer. And then it says, hey, here's my plan of action. Do you want me to proceed? You as the human intervention could say, yes, that plan looks wonderful. Go ahead and proceed and say, great. It'll start calling up GPTs. Those GPTs will have tools. They'll perform the work and send the reports back. And huge projects can be done in a fraction of the time. And I like to think of this in the software development world where so many times, most of the work is in the planning and the preparation, and very, very small amounts are actually in the execution. And if you could have an AI speed up the planning and then do the prep work ahead of time before the execution, you verify step by step that everything works, that's going to make you a 100 or 1,000x engineer compared to everyone else who's still doing it the old-fashioned way. I'm reminded of my friend who is a software developer, and he says he spends most of his day planning and very little of his work actually implementing because he has to make sure that the code that he's working on is correct. But if you could have over your shoulder AI assistance telling you not only is your code correct, but the plan of which you're going about doing it is correct, and here's the step-by-step -step approach to achieve your goal, that would be absolutely massive. And that's actually what's going on with AI Codepilot from GitHub. That's what's going on with Copilot with Microsoft is that they see this vision of an assistant helping humanity be more productive. And that's what they're trying to do. Even AGI, when it fully comes out, won't actually be that disruptive because in many senses of the word, I've already seen what AGI can do and I could already tell that having a human involved is going to be very beneficial, at least initially, as these AIs get trained better, as they learn more, as they improve their skill set, there's going to be slightly less need for oversight. And that's where you get human manager managing teams of AI. And that should be very easy with the reports that they generate and to be able to get a high level overview, similar to like a program manager does when managing project managers. So project managers manage their teams, they create the projects, and they send the program manager, and the program manager is able to say, hey, we're making good progress. Here's all the results for the day from all the different project managers. Here's where we are in terms of the whole program. 
and implementing this. And I see a lot of benefit for that in the future. So that's my take. I'll see you in the next week.